Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Scores of students collapsed at Oberlin High. There was a bizarre incident at the Oberlin High School in St. Andrew on Wednesday morning, as scores of students fainted during the school's daily devotion. A staff member told reporters more than 200 students collapsed in the incident. According to the staff member, a female teacher was talking to the students about their behavior and decided to pray for them because she said, she got a message from God. Shortly after the teacher started praying, the staff member said students started shaking and dropping. Several videos of the incident were posted on social media. Due to the high number of students who collapsed, traffic was halted on the road leading to the school. It was also revealed that even after the school was dismissed early, students collapsed outside at the school gate, leading to passerby stopping to assist them. When reporters visited the school, the principal board members were convened at a meeting over the incident. It is understood that the principal will be meeting with the Ministry of Education later on Wednesday. The affected students were reportedly transported to the Laverne Taverns Health Center, Stone Hill Health Center, and Kingston Public Hospital. St. Thomas MP wants reckless drivers sent to dangerous driving school. With 368 people killed in motor crash vehicles up to Tuesday, October 25th, Member of Parliament for St. Thomas East, Dr. Michelle Charles, is proposing that reckless drivers, in particular repeat offenders who endanger the lives of other road users, be subjected to ongoing education before they are cleared to continue driving. Her proposal is similar to what exists in the United States, where drivers found guilty of certain traffic infractions must complete a specific number of hours of driving education. Dr. Charles made the call on Tuesday during her second contribution to the State of the Constituency debate in the House of Representatives. We need to change the way reckless drivers think in Jamaica, and that can only be done through education, said Charles, while acknowledging that the majority of people who drive in Jamaica are safe drivers. She is calling for an amendment to the Road Traffic Act to include what she calls a mandatory JADD school, Jamaicans Against Dangerous Driving. These courses should include an accident prevention course, a drug alcohol awareness course, and a driver's improvement course as well, said Charles. She is recommending that a minimum of four hours of JAD school for people who receive tickets for overtaking in a manner causing obstruction to traffic, a minimum of four hours for JAD school for motorists found guilty of careless driving with or without a collision, 68 hours of JAD school for speeding, 12 to 16 hours for habitual traffic offenders and reckless and dangerous driving. Dr. Charles said motorcyclists who are listed by the Road Safety Unit as being among the most vulnerable road users, must also be subjected to JAD school. While we welcome the new and improved roads in St. Thomas Eastern, we also want to ensure our safety. Imagine a country with disciplined drivers on the road, she said. Man accused of defrauding Marcia Griffiths wants to make restitution. The man accused of defrauding record icon Marcia Griffiths of millions of dollars has indicated that he intends to liquidate his asset to make restitution. Ray Markon, who is charged with obtaining money by means of false pretense, expressed his desire when he appeared in the St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday. According to Mr. Markon, the asset in question is adjacent to a high school in the corporate era. Prior to remanding him until November 15, Senior Parish Judge Laurie Ann Cole Montague inquired whether there would be sufficient time for the sale of the asset. Mr. Markon was charged in June by fraud squad detectives after he allegedly defrauded Miss Griffiths of nearly $5 million in a bogus real estate deal. The police say he collected US $30,000 and Jamaica $250,000 from Miss Griffiths as payment in the fake real estate deal. Please remember to subscribe, like, share.